I'm John Chesterman, Product Marketing Manager with John Deere on four-wheel drive loaders, and behind me is the John Deere 644K hybrid wheel loader. To look at this machine, it looks extremely similar to our 644K with a conventional torque converter power shift drivetrain. The key giveaways on the machine, of course, besides the hybrid sticker above the Deere uh, name, is the fact is that the step's a little different. Inside of this step is what we call the John Deere Power Electronics that controls the hybrid electric drive. Some other key differences are if you look in the articulation area, you'll see the brushless AC electric motor and you'll see the three orange cables. The key thing with this wheel loader is all the energy to make this machine move as far as turn the tires, push into the pile, all that energy is, go is going through those three electrical cables. In the cab, it's two decibels quieter. On the exterior, it's three decibels quieter. And the key thing to remember with sound is a three decibel reduction is a 50% reduction in sound power. Okay, the 644K hybrid to the average customer delivers 25% lower fuel consumption. But for customers who have really heavy applications, maybe they're pushing and backfilling into pot, backfilling into ditches or the possibly feedlot activities, uh, this machine will deliver in excess of 30, 35. We've had customers report 40% reduction in fuel consumption over their existing 644Ks. You know, both loaders seem to go into the pile and be able to load their buckets without really a whole lot of difference between the two. But as John Chesterman mentioned earlier, that's exactly the way they were designed to operate. One is not really designed to be any more productive than the other. However, what you can't really see is the fact that that hybrid loader on the right is performing the same task at at least a 25% fuel savings compared to the 644K conventional on the left. And what that means to a customer is that day to day throughout the course of my operation as I'm using this loader in a typical 2,000 hours or so a year with diesel prices anywhere from four on up dollars per gallon that is a savings of eight to ten thousand dollars per year. I'd recommend for you to demo and run one of these machines yourself to feel the performance difference as well as measure the fuel consumption reductions for yourself.